Welcome back to the show. My first guest tonight can be seen Monday through Friday on WSAZ, giving the Tri-State their weather. This past week, she was a star in the Fifth Avenue Theater Company's presentation of Camelot. Here to talk about that and everything else going on in her life is Marina Jerica. Marina, come on out. Look at you. Thank you very much. This is Courtney. Have a seat, Marina. Thank you. The crowd going crazy. And you're used to that, right? You do, <laughs> well, yeah, somewhat. <laughs> you do the weather live in front of a studio audience every mm -hmm. morning, right? They go crazy when you mm -hmm. say the seven-day forecast, right? No, I wish. I wish. But I get enough emails, that's for sure. <laughs> there you go. Well, welcome back to the show. Well, I, I don't know you. if you noticed, a lot has changed in the, in the past year that you've been here. We're true high def now. So yeah, it looks good. You're seeing Marina Jerica in true high definition. <laughs> you're looking at her, not looking at me. So how are things going? I know you got married in December of 2008, so a little bit more than a year now. Yes. How's that going it's for you? It's going very, very well. We had the snow we wanted in Vermont, and uh, it was a really nice Christmas wedding, so it was very pretty. Well, let's talk about, he was actually in, your husband was in this performance, mm -hmm. the Camelot, right? Yes. And you all, you've been in performances before, you're against each other, now you are actually a love interest for the first time ever, right? Yes, we've never shared the leads together opposite each other, and he's Lancelot, and I'm Guinevere, and it's actually quite lovely looking and being mesmerized by your husband, and uh, the onstage kisses are a lot easier as well. <laughs> we, I wanted to try an onstage kiss today, but she said you didn't want to do it, right? Mm. We, we talked, and you said no. Yeah, our uh, significant others might have an issue with that. No, she was cool with it. I talked to her. She, was, she, she actually <laughs> encouraged it. Get some tips, she well, said. Well, maybe no. we should go <laughs> practice first. We'll be right back after the break. We'll be going now. We'll talk about that because you love performing. You love mm -hmm. getting up on stage. You've been here for about three years now, and you've performed in some type of either, you know, the uh, uh, Huntington Outdoor Theater or whatever. How many, how, why do you love that so much? I just don't get it. Well, it's definitely my second passion, that's for sure, next to weather. So I started out uh, in South Pacific uh, with the Charleston Light Opera Guild, which was great. And then I just snowballed after that. And anytime that there's a musical theater production, I just love to audition. And all the roles I've done have been so diverse. I was Aldonza in Man of La Mancha. I was Nellie in South Pacific. You know, now I am Queen Guinevere in Camelot. And so all of the roles are very diverse. And I always look for that. I look for a role that I can grow in, a role that's pretty easy for me or that I've already done, usually I pass because, as you know, I get up at 2.30 in the morning, yes, and right. so i got to really like the show in order to do it because uh, I want to be able to learn from it and grow as a performer, and uh, it's a lot of fun, and it gets you out in the community. I, I know I do the weather every day, but people actually sometimes come up to me in Charleston, and they're like, oh! Oh my goodness, I saw you in Pirates of Penzance. They don't even say, oh my goodness, you're Marina Jurica. They'll be like, I saw you in Pirates of Penzance. So it's kind of neat to be known for both things. And what's the, what's the favorite role that you've done? I know you did Miss Scarlet in, in the uh, Clue mystery. Clue the musical, yeah. yeah. My favorite role ever would have to be Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady. It, really? was, uh, it was definitely my all-time favorite end all to the be all. And there's a couple shows still that are out there that I would give up all to do. But uh, not many people do it anymore. The musical Kismet and the musical uh, The Student Prince. But nobody does it anymore. Nobody but if anyone it. did it, I would be there. <laughs> so if you're listening, you're a producer at home. You want to <laughs> Marina Jurica. Now, your husband actually built the set for Camelot. Is that true? He did. And he's the technical director at Fifth Avenue Theatre Company. And he built the set. And we all put in hours, countless hours, making the set, painting it. And, of course, he constructed it. Me with any sort of tools is not a very good thing. So not I just paint. I paint. But uh, it's a beautiful set. And what he had to do is it's a little difficult because he had to put the forest and the castle on the same set and so he had to use the stage uh, in both avenues and so we have the forest on stage right and then the castle on stage left and uh, it worked out really really nicely and uh, everyone seems to be enjoying it we've had great audiences opening weekend and then of course we run again this weekend not bad and do you have you looked past this performance or you just stay with one performance at a time? Do you know what you're going to be doing next? Or I, really I about do. It? I have a couple oh. things already coming up. Uh, Charleston you. Light Opera Guild's festival show is Barnum and it's the musical based on P.T. Barnum mm -hmm. and Bailey and uh, the circus. And so I've been cast as Jenny Lind who is an actual person. She was called the Swedish Nightingale and uh, she was an opera singer and my husband's the ringmaster. And so that's really fun. And then July 24th I'm singing with uh, Huntington Symphony Orchestra. They're having a Hawaiian theme pop concert and I'm singing 
singing uh, with South Pacific, uh, South Pacific selections with Ryan Hardiman. You are, I mean, seriously, this sitting next to you, you had so many talents. I wish some of it would fall off on me because <laughs> I don't have a clue what's going on here. But let's you talk make me laugh. Well, that's a talent. You sure you want to, don't want to try the on stage kiss? <laughs> Maybe during break, and I'll tell you everyone at home how it went. You know, giving you a hard time about it. But let's talk about you. And you mentioned a second ago when people come up and they meet you. I had somebody waiting in my office to meet you. Do you get that all the time? People just want to say, hey, I just met Marina Jurica. Yeah, well, the, and a lot of people will just be in the grocery store and they'll want to have a conversation about, you know, what the forecast is going to be like, or they've got their granddaughter's birthday party coming up that weekend, and what are the chances for the rain, <coughs> and how big are the thunderstorms that are going to be rolling on through. And I don't mind it at all. You get used to it. And at first, my husband always shied away from it a little bit, but, you know, and now it's just, you know, we answer the questions and we have a lot of fun with it. And I like meeting the people out there. I mean, you know, they keep me employed. There you go. Thank you. Exactly. So if they don't like you, they're going to call on the exactly. station like they call here trying to get me off the air every week. Well, Marina, let's do something really quickly. Like we mentioned at the top of the show, this is Courtney's last show. And I want to bring out Kat and Patrick. Where are they right now? Let's bring them out on the set. Last time you were on the show, you, uh, we had so had many so comments. I had fun. You had a lot of fun. I had a lot fun. of fun with you. <laughs> 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 well, she sang to me at the end of the show, all right? And, and there they are there. This is their last show. Courtney's done. Kat's going home. Patrice is going overseas next semester. Would you mind singing to them and telling them goodbye from me to them through you? Can you Not do that? Not at all. All right. Marina Jerka singing the <laughs> cast members away. So long, farewell, la vida, and adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Very good. And if she wasn't going to be here today, I was going to have to sing this. So we're very lucky that you showed up. Marina, thank you for thank coming you. on this show. We really appreciate mm -hmm. it. We'll be right back with music from Alexis Cunningham.